Hi everyone, hola a todos y bienvenidos a My Mundo Inglés, inglés fácil para todo el mundo. Yo me llamo Christian, soy australiano y te quiero llevar a mi mundo inglés. Esta es la tercera parte de la serie Las preguntas y respuestas más comunes en inglés. Si todavía no has visto las primeras dos partes, asegúrate de que las ves, ¿vale? Alright, are you ready? Let's go! En esta tercera parte, vamos a aprender unas preguntas y respuestas más prácticas que puedes usar en tu vida cotidiana, con amigos, con familia y otras para cuando estés de viaje y quieres viajar por tren, autobús o avión o para cuando busques un lugar y no sabes dónde esté. Where have you been? Where have you been? I was at my friend's place. I was at my friend's place. Place literalmente significa lugar, pero en la expresión coloquial significa casa. I'm at my place. Estoy en mi casa. I'm going to your place. Voy a tu casa. How was the party? How was the party? It was amazing. It was amazing. Eh, it was pretty boring. It was pretty boring. Is there anyone home? Is there anyone home? No. No one's home right now. No. No one's home right now. Are there a lot of kangaroos in Australia? Are there a lot of kangaroos in Australia? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a lot. Because I'm from Australia, I get asked this question all the time. What do you want to do today? What do you want to do today? Let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. I want to go see a movie. I want to go see a movie. I don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like doing anything. To feel like something or to feel like doing something significa tener ganas de algo o tener ganas de hacer algo. I feel like ice cream. Do you feel like going to the movies? Do you feel like going out? Do you feel like going out? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. What do you want for dinner? What do you want for dinner? Let's get pizza. Let's get pizza. Uh, I'm not very hungry. I'm not very hungry. What would you like to eat? What would you like to eat? Ooh, avocado on toast, please. Avocado on toast, please. It's my favorite. What would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? I'll have a green tea, please. I'll have a green tea, please. Can I get you anything else? Can I get you anything else? Um, no thanks, that's all. No thanks, that's all. Get. La palabra get es una de las palabras que confunde más a todo el mundo porque tiene un montón de significados. He hecho una serie todo sobre la palabra get que puedes encontrar en la info card aquí. Have you seen my keys? Have you seen my keys? I saw them on the table. I saw them on the table. Where did you get those sunglasses? Where did you get those sunglasses? I 
bought them at the shop near my place. I bought them at the shop near my place. Excuse me, how much is this? Excuse me, how much is this? It's 35.75. It's 35.75. What? For a candle? That's so expensive. Where's the nearest hospital? Where's the nearest hospital? It's three blocks away. It's three blocks away. Excuse me, how do I get to the university? Excuse me, how do I get to the university? Take the metro three stops, then walk two blocks east. Take the metro three stops, then walk two blocks east. Where's the bus station? Where's the bus station? It's a 10 minute walk west. It's a 10 minute walk west. What time is it? What time is it? It's 4.30 p.m. It's 4.30 p.m. Can I please get a return ticket to Miami? Can I please get a return ticket to Miami? That'll be $42, thank you. That'll be $42, thank you. Does this bus stop at Manchester? Does this bus stop at Manchester? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. What time does the train for London leave? What time does the train for London leave? It leaves in five minutes. It leaves in five minutes. Whose backpack is this? Whose backpack is this? It's mine. It's mine. Is this yours? Is this yours? No, it's hers. No, it's hers. Ok, my friends, acabamos aquí la tercera parte de la serie Las preguntas y respuestas más comunes en inglés. ¿Cuáles son otras preguntas que preguntas tú a tu familia o a tus amigos? Escríbelas en los comentarios abajo y yo te respondo. Si te gustó este video, dale un like. Y si quieres seguir aprendiendo inglés conmigo, por favor, suscríbete a mi canal. Ve a mi website mymundoingles.com para encontrar videos, ejercicios y recursos exclusivos solo para ustedes. See you next time, guys.